today marks the beginning of Shark Week on the Discovery Channel. If you're not familiar with what Shark Week is, it is just simply a week's worth of shark-related TV programming. Whenever I think of sharks, I automatically think of teeth. Definitely, the movie Jaws has something to do with that. So I thought, what better time than to make a shark tooth pendant? If you would like to learn how to do that, make sure you keep watching. Making a shark tooth pendant, you're going to take a ball of white polymer clay and the size of tooth you want to make, and we're just going to make, be making a very rough looking three dimensional triangle. And this is my favorite part, is just taking the blade and just really sculpting that three dimensional shape into the clay. And of course, go in there with your fingers, work that out a little bit, and I'm taking a tool and I'm making a separation point between the root of the tooth and the actual tooth part. Now on the root of the tooth, I really want it to look like bone, like calcified. So I really just get in there with the toothbrush. Now I realized that I wanted to put a little bit more of a point to the tooth. So again, I took out my blade and I just kind of took out some of those pieces in the clay. I'm smoothing down any rough edges I may have made with my blade, smoothing it down with my finger. Now I'm taking my toothbrush again and I'm making vertical grooves onto the tooth. And you're going to be going from the top to the bottom. Make just nice vertical lines on the tooth, which we're really going to define with some black coat paint. It's going to look really realistic once we get the black paint on there. Now to make the bone part of the tooth stand out, we're going to be dusting on some yellow chalk. That's just going to really bring out the texture of the bone. And this is where that black paint is coming into play. We're brushing it on and wiping it off with a damp towel. We don't want that black paint to dry, so we're putting it onto the tooth and wiping it right off with a damp towel. And that is really going to make all that definition pop. Now the tooth looks a little dirty, so I took some fine sand paper and I'm going over the parts that I want to just whiten up, and that's just mainly the bottom part of the tooth, the actual tooth part. Dusting my tooth off, I'm going to take out some 28 gauge wire. I'm leaving a 2 inch tail. I'm going to start wrapping that wire over and under and over and under the tooth making a cross hat kind of pattern. Leaving another approximately two inch tail, I'm going to take the tail that I've left and just kind of weave that into the mess of wire that I've already made. Now I'm going to take those two tails eventually and I am going to start twisting those tails into one wire. Once I make one wire, I'm going to take that one wire I've made and wrap it around the round pliers that I have. Once I have the eye of the pendant made, I'm going to take any additional wire I have and I'm just going to wrap that around the eye until I have no more wire left. So here's the finished shark tooth. I got a little fancy with it at the end. Here is a close up of everything. I'm going to glaze the bottom of the tooth, just the actual tooth part, not the, the root of the tooth. I added a chain. I don't know where I got the idea, but I actually wanted to add a little dream catcher and I had a turquoise stone, which I added in the center of that. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. If you like this video, odds are you're probably gonna like the other videos I make, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.